قدر عمر ما تیر کردیم که هیچ در افغانستان یعنی آرومی و خوشی را مردم نایده بود ما که یادم یک خورد بودیم جوان شدیم تا به حال را ایچ آرامی و خوشی را ندیدیم درد یایی لنج یایی بیوگی یایی بدبختی که میایه بالای یک نفر شخصی نمی بالای هزاران نفر است ما هیچ وقت تنها احساس نمی کنیم این درد ما را همه بسیاری از زنا و وارای دیگه ما هم دارم Afghanistan was a training ground for 9-11 terrorists, so it seems incredible that two American women whose husband died on that day turned their pain into determination to change lives halfway around the world. We were actually in New York, and we were just throwing out names, and I just said, what about beyond the 11th? And I think my thinking was basically, look, we're not stuck. You know, the terrorists may have killed our husbands on September 11th, but the whole idea that we're not going to stay there. This is just a thought. I'm putting it out on the table. We can debate it. We can do whatever. Um, you know, once we fund the programs, let's have somebody survey the families. What do you need? What do you need? Do you need clothes? Okay. Then part of our fundraising is, is that we get clothes for the families. Or do you need a house? She doesn't want to just put a Band-Aid on the problem. She doesn't want to say, like, here, we gave you, you know, $65,000 and some chickens. Good luck. Instead, right. she wants to say, look, we've given you some training, and now you should be able to make a little bit of money. But now, what else do you need? Here I am trying to help these women and make decisions that will impact their life but I've never lived their life. I would love to go to Afghanistan and really get a sense of these people and their culture. Taliban's strict interpretation of Islamic law has forced women from their jobs, barred them from schools, and effectively made them prisoners in their own homes. Women in Taliban-controlled areas cannot leave their houses unless accompanied by a male relative. When they do, they must also wear a burqa, a tent-like garment that covers them from head to toe. Hello. Hi there. Oh, I'm really excited you're coming. I think it's a fantastic uh, thing, and uh, which I, I've treasured this, this bond that you've created over the, the last few years, and uh, I'm really excited you're able to come and see some of the fruits of your, your work and your generosity. Thank you. We're, we're really excited and looking forward to it also. I was thinking about one thing last evening. What we should wear as females, are there any colors that we should or should not wear? Well, the colors are generally drab colors that mm -hmm. blend in better, uh, not bright colors. Is this too bright? Too bright. The main thing with women clothing is to cover arms, legs, and headscarf is considered a conservative form when they don't have to wear them. But the key to better security is to blend in as best you can, so headscarf is advised. You're driving on the 10th, is that right? Yes. Okay. Do you know who else I'm going with? Who else would I be going to Afghanistan with? Susan? Yeah. Susan's coming. Okay. I just, you know, being a single parent of three children, you know, Dave was killed as a result of terrorists being trained in Afghanistan, you know, this whole circle. And if something, God forbid, happens to me, I need to be able to explain to my family and my kids 